Hey guys, welcome to this Lessons of Dharma with Puel. We are so grateful to be here and excited to show you some of the production breakdown and tips for our song Juggler, which we did together with the amazingly talented Bente from Sweden and Jessica Sherdog from the USA. So, let's jump right into it. So, like you can see here, um, the MIDI is bounced in this session already. Uh, we actually worked in two separate sessions. One for the final mix, like you can see here, and one for our first production. We'll get into this session later on to show you some of the orchestral programmings we did. So, for the drums, right here, it's pretty standard. We just have a kick and a snare, and we tried to get some, some faster fills to keep the drive and the tempo of the track. Also, we have some tonal elements in there. We really like to tune certain percussion sounds into, into key and layer it to get kind of nice, nice and tonal transitions even in the drum section. Also note here in the mixing session that we shortened the kick to make space for the bounce bass. Let's get to the basses now. So for the basses, Bente did a new sound. We already did basses in the first place, but I think Bente really nailed the bass sound itself. It split it up in some different layers. The main layer is a Juno bass he did, and all the sub-information is inside there. So if you look at the EQ, everything is here besides uh, 20k plus and uh, everything below 20 hertz because you can't hear those anyway. Just the Juno bass here sounds like this. We also have those extra plucky basses, similar to those that we did. And one top end layer, which sounds like this. And we decided to put some additional shaper box on here with some white noise layering. So every time the bass note hits, a white noise also hits and makes the bass even more crisp and get through the mix better. Now drums and bass together will sound like this. So now for the percussions, we did some orchestral hits here to emphasize certain phrases and also added the clock ticking and the tambourine that we already had in the breakdown. Together with the drums and bass, it sounds like this. So next for the lead synth, we worked a lot with Bente here, fiddled around a bit with different varieties of the melodies and the lead sound itself. And I think Marcus did an amazing job here delivering this amazing chop sound. And also a very catchy melody that fitted the track very, very well. I think this was the third attempt and we were very happy with it. it it's really great what he did here. So for external processing on the synth leads, we just have one EQ right here where we cut all the lows that aren't needed. We have one pull tick EQ to bring out the air above 10k, just one to two decibels, but I think it's great to, to make it even more pop. And Soothe, which is like a resonance suppressor, so you don't have to go in by hand and pull like aggressive frequencies out of there or resonances. All right, guys, we think this was all for the drop. Now let's get into the production session and show you a bit of the breakdown of the verse and the build-up. We are now in the production session where we have all the additional media information that we can show you. And I'd say let's have a listen first and then we will go through all the instruments. Keep your eyes open, the juggler's in town. Got tricks up his sleeve to amaze and astound. No one's a winner, but everyone plays. He lures them all in, step right up to his game. One by two by three by four, stroke of midnight lock your doors. Five by six by seven by eight, discover the So 
So let's get right into the percussions. I think the bridge percussions are especially interesting here as well as the chorus percussions. We did like a mixture of a ticking clock and a slashing sound, which we found to be really special and fitting for the theme of the juggler. And we accompany those with some with some tonal timpani right here on the top, which you can either just tune or play them in by, for example, the VSL player, which are really cool and interesting tonal percussion sounds. We layer those with some of the new cashmere action loops in this new pack as well as a stadium loop to make some more energy here. And for the final mix, Bente added also some risers and some drum build-up sounds, which is really, really great. All right, guys, let's get into the guitars now. So we have one low octave guitar that's just doing strumming right here. We have a tremolo effect, which makes the sound very wobbly and interesting all over the place on all three guitar tracks right here. And we just worked here with a guitar that we plugged in in our interfaces and used guitar rig for further processing. So we did just a bit distortion, a bit reverb. Spring reverb works great for guitars, as well as I mentioned before, the tremolo effect to get this dirty kind of sound. We have a harmony playing right here and in the second part, in the bridge part, we go into more of a rhythmic style. We also edited some acoustic ethnic guitars from the cashmere bag as well and chopped those up and edited those to give this more ethnic feeling that we really wanted to have right here. He lures them all in, step right up to his game. One by two by three by four. Alright, last but not least we can go into the orchestral sections for this track before we show you the vocal composition. So we have a piano right here. We have a string section and a brass section and also some woodwinds and we think that for for orchestra you have to to view all of this as one instrument actually so if we play it all together they accompany each others perfectly and really work as one supportive instrument for the vocal comp So let's go into each one individually. First of all, we have this saloon piano, which is actually just one preset from, from Contact, the gentleman piano, which sounds pretty boring on its own. But we added some echo melt, which is similar to the RC20 plugin. So it adds basically like a bit of melt and distortion saturation makes the sound sound more destroyed and a bit more psychedelic in this case. So we added those, um, a basic compressor and an EQ, where we just boosted the side signals a bit and pulled the mid signals to make space for the vocals. All right, let's go into the strings right now. For the strings, we work a lot with the Albion One library from Spitfire Audio. It's like an all-rounder tool where you have strings in there, you have brass in there as well as woodwinds and also percussion. So it's a great starter tool for everyone who wants to uh, start to program orchestral strings and brass, etc. And we, we really use it a lot. We use its, its staccato strings right here. Like pizzicato strings here. And um, we use it for staccato brass like brass shots, or for the trombone right here, we use the tuba preset from the contact library and a second layer with the VSL instruments, the bass trombone actually. And yes, we layer those two. We added some decapitator right here for more drive and a feather and a nastier, more destroyed sound kind of, which um, always works really great on brass. Also, we added a lot of pull tech EQ to, get, to give the sound more air and get through the mix even more. You can make a quick AB comparison on this without anything. And with the plugins on. So you hear it's really getting beefy with this processing. Altogether, it sounds like this. All right. 
right, now let's get over to the most important part, the vocals of the track. Let's give it a listen first and then we will get into the details afterwards. Keep your eyes open, the jugglers in town Got tricks up his sleeve to amaze and astound No one's a winner, but everyone plays He lures them all in, step right up to his game One by two by three by four Stroke of midnight lock your doors Five by six by seven by eight Discover the others, by then it's too late Spinning in his horror show Dizzy from his catch and throw You'll think you're the only one But that's not what the juggler does so we began working on Jagla after receiving Jessica's and Derek's top line and it was totally amazing. We instantly had pictures in mind when we heard the song for the first time and also had first ideas for the production side and it was really, really inspiring to start working on the project. So the main vocals are quite straightforward. Um, right now we are in the production session again. We tuned it there with Waves Tune as well as, like you can see here, the very audio tool from Cubase. It's like Melodyne but uh, built into Cubase and we really like it for basic stuff, for more advanced stuff with several voices we still use Melodyne. After tuning the vocals we added compression as well as de -essing and pull tech EQ for a bit of air again. And a pretty simple EQ just to roll off a bit of the high mids and the harsh frequencies around 8 to 9 kilohertz. For the effects, we sometimes, instead of using sense, work on new audio tracks like you can see here. For example, this delay is basically a printed version of the audio of the main vocals right above. And we printed those and when printing the the effects, either may it be a reverb or delay or something else, you can really precisely cut the signal afterwards, which makes the mix uh, easier to, to clean up, I think. And also you can, like we did here, add chorus and extra effects to like manipulate the effects afterwards. Step right up to his game. One by two by three by four stroke of midnight lock your door. So like you can hear, we did effects on the delays. We did some little elder boy for shifting the formants. And we added also a little chorus effect on here to make it sound a little more interesting and not just the same as the main vocal track. Also, the purpose was here to just fill up the spaces in between the counting. Game. One by two by three by four Stroke of midnight lock your doors Five We have like reverbs, different reverbs right here. Every single one is sidechained to the main signal of the vocal. That means every time the dry signal of the main vocal hits, the effects are ducking away. So you have always this clean, dry vocal track in front and the effects are coming in when the vocal stops to play. All right, now for the backings. We have some additional harmonies from Jessica right One here. By two, by three, by four, stroke. Lock, five. And what we did here is basically at all the effects that we did on the main vocal as well, some compression, some de-essing, some EQing, a bit thinned out to make space for the main vocal, of course. And then we have a little manipulator to increase the stereo image. And we round it up by using a Pro R by, by FabFilter, which is basically a room plugin to emulate real rooms. We have the preset bright large room right here. We ducked a bit of the brightness because it was <laughs> kind of too bright. You can tweak around with those parameters right here to create a more realistic room. And we are doing this most of the times on the backings just to create some depth in the vocal production as well. So you have the main vocal right in front of you and all the backings and choirs and effects vocals are kind of back in the room to make space for the main vocal in the front. Also, we have those choir vocals right here. Mm -hmm. 
Jessica did some additional voices here for the drop and we decided to keep them but shorten them and make them really tight just to emphasize uh, again certain hits in the drums as well as uh, the drop overall to create some more energy and also get some more organic elements here with Jessica's voice. And the last thing for the vocals are the effects vocals. So we have some whistles in here like this. Eyes open. Town. which we used for transitions and we also thought that it matched the topic of the juggler walking around whistling and doing his thing kind of then we created those kind of sounds which is us singing and uh, being tuned and then putting it into a guitar rig so basically we are just using a guitar FX rack to kind of emulate a guitar sound but done with vocals which was really interesting I think and a really special sound and it also gave a lot more atmosphere to the track I think then Bente also added those RO vocal fills right here the of his head, wicked and brave. Two, two, three. And last but not least, just to make a little bit more energy in the verses, we put those those group chants in. Altogether, the vocals now sound like this. Keep your eyes open, the juggler's in town Got tricks up his sleeve to amaze and astound No one's a winner, but everyone plays He lures them all in, step right up to his game One by two by three by four Stroke of midnight lock your doors Five by six by seven by eight Discover the others, by then it's too late Spinning in his horror show Dizzy from his catch and throw You think you're the only one But that's not what the juggler does Alright, so I think this was everything we have to say for Juggler for now. Of course, if you have any more questions, feel free to comment below and we will answer every one of them. Thanks again to Dharma for the opportunity, it really means a lot to us and to be on the channel for the first time and of course thanks to every single one of you for listening, this all wouldn't be possible without you, so we are really super grateful. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to Dharma and until next time, bye! Let's begin.